how to maximize your business when you are just getting started. One of the biggest things I want to remind you is there is no right or wrong way to start your business. You are going to continue to learn new information and you are going to continue to grow yourself but you have to remain coachable and you have to try new things in order to find what is going to be the best way for you to get started and to continue to grow into a successful business owner. You don't have to be perfect and you don't have to know everything to get started. This is a journey and you are gonna continue to better yourself and continue to grow. You don't have to be a makeup artist in order to showcase and demonstrate to your network how to apply these amazing products and create new looks. Your friends want to see you applying the products. They want to see a real everyday woman. When you're getting started, you want to get these products on as many people as possible. Utilize the products that come in your new presenter kit and start having fun with it. Take before and after pictures. See if anyone wants a quick 10 minute makeover. Whatever you have to do, get these products in people's hands. You're gonna hear us talk a lot about sharing versus selling. And exactly what that is, is what we do in everyday life. We go to a good restaurant and we love what we eat and we share it on Facebook. We find a sale at our favorite store, we find a new product and we share it. We love to share things that we love. It's exactly what this business is. In the world of social selling, you just want to show how what you have to offer is incorporated into your everyday life. You want to stand out from the rest, but you also want to remain true to yourself and genuine to who you are as a person. The best place for you to post about your business is your personal page. That is your storefront. The key to that is to give value and exciting content that makes them stop scrolling and watch what you have to we say. We want to share what we love, why we love it, how we use it, and how we cannot live without it. That is the art of sharing versus selling. If you've been posting and you feel like you're being spammy, chances are you might be, and that's okay. We have all been there. We have all done a little something that maybe didn't come out right, but we learn from it and we are able to better ourselves because of it. Look at your post, look at your wording, and see what kind of interaction you're getting. If you feel like you're not getting the response that you're looking for, send it to your sponsor and see if she can help you tweak the wording so that you can get the best point across. As tempting as it may be to just post any graphics that you find, what is really going to showcase what you have is right here. People want to see the products on your face. Be a product of the product. Wear it, share it, and talk about it to anyone that you can. You are now your own billboard. So when you're taking selfies, make sure that you have the best lighting possible. Look at your images and say, is this clear? Am I portraying what I want to show? Are my customers going to be able to see how amazing these products are through this image? And if I were scrolling through Facebook, would I stop and look at it? Sometimes on Facebook, if an image is used too many times over and over and over, it gets flagged as spam by Facebook. Always put your own little twist on it and use the apps that we talked about in the last video, like Word Swag, Pic Collage, Pic Lab, and make your own image out of it. All about personalizing it to you. Going live on your personal page is one of the best things that you can do for your business for many reasons, but it can be a little intimidating. So I challenge you to maybe just go live, test it out a little bit, or maybe in a smaller group, trying to get your jitters out and just see what it's about. I'm going to tell you to not pay attention to the viewers that it says up top. The number is going to fluctuate and even if there's zero people there, that doesn't mean that they can't come back and watch it. 
and it also boosts you to the top of the newsfeed every single time you go live. Every single time someone comments on that live feed, it then boosts it back up. It's going to help maximize your exposure and your visibility in your business. Same goes for videos. They are super effective. You've heard me say this a million times. Great video ideas is doing a mascara tutorial for everyone. We're known for our mascara and people need to know how to apply it properly and they want to see your eyes with our mascara on. As presenters, we all have different tips and tricks that we like to use, so this is your chance to educate and get your customers excited about what you have. Another fun video I love seeing presenters use is making a complete look just using what comes in your new presenters kit. Obviously there's not the foundation and all that base stuff, but you can still create a full look using what you have in the new presenters kit. Show what comes in that amazing black box. Relationships are what our business is built on, honestly. Don't be afraid to share why you joined Unique, why you got started. Let your guard down a little bit. Share your why. Your why is why you got started. Your why is going to be what keeps you going. Don't be afraid to share that. Some great apps for recording and editing your videos. You've got Viva Video, Magisto, or if you have an iPhone, Apple device, <laughs> you can use iMovie, which is one of my personal favorites. You are going to add music to it. You wanna make sure that it's royalty free music. Music that you add from iTunes or even from the radio in the background may be flagged by Facebook. Creating a domain name is a great way to begin branding yourself as an individual. And it also makes it a lot easier for business cards and for what we call blitz cards to have a shorter and easier to remember website name. You can go to godaddy.com and you can find promo codes to get a domain name for less than $10, sometimes even 99 cents. It's super easy and all you have to do is go to godaddy.com, see if the domain name that you're interested in is available. If it is, you want to email compliance at uniqueproducts.com to get ad approval or you can email ad approval at uniqueproducts.com. Once they have given you the go ahead, you are free to purchase that we're domain. Now finished with video number two and you're ready to move on to video number three to take your business to the next step.